Welcome to your life house. Ventilation. Ventilation is next. So basically this is the layout of the first floor. And then that's the, that's the basement. So when this was originally engineered, this was supposed to be a flat ceiling. So was that and that. Now those are gonna be open. So that means we gotta run those trunks on the inside and then over. Which means that's the one that's really the one that we gotta follow. And then that's the basement. Figured instead of going straight over here and punching a hole in every one of these floor joists, we just go out and follow the open joist bay over to here. And then we just have one penetration over here. So instead of having like 10 or something like that, I don't know, I haven't counted. There's two and just one there. So that must be a better solution. I already have pre-drilled and the same thing back there. That's all done. But we have to go up through the floor and up into that wall upstairs. So this is the wall where this duct is supposed to go down. And that's the living room and I'm in the entryway now, right here. So down here, somewhere down there. So I'm gonna have to go downstairs and figure out where that is. I know that the uh, columns are right there on top of the I-beam downstairs. So I know that it's in line with that. Somewhere in this area, I just gotta go downstairs and look and see where that pre-drill hole is. All right, so this is right below that wall upstairs. Fun, fun, fun. And for that purpose, we have a big honking hole saw. That's like, a, I don't know, 120 millimeters? Roughly five inches. I think I'm gonna grab an electric drill to use with this thing, because there's a lot of momentum here when you go to stop this thing with a battery drill. I don't think that's gonna do a lot of good to a battery drill, so power drill for this. Ja, du har säkert rätt på en ständer. Ska inte förvärs mig? Nej, inte med heller. Nej. All right, so we thought we were on a stud, but we weren't. Let's go upstairs and see where we're at. All right, let's try this thing. Spiroduct T. These all have rubber seals. So when you put it in, it's a real snug fit. And she's there. Now, the company supplied screws to screw these things together. Even though the seal is there, you still have to screw them. That's all well and good. The only problem is, all right, so the company sent these little screws. Here's what's going to happen. Say this is the duct. Put these things together. All right, and there you go. So there's a sharp point at the end. What's going to happen when I put something inside this duct to clean it? Everything's going to get snagged up on these joints. Everything. So. I came up with an idea. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I, th I think it is. I hope it is. That looks a lot nicer. That's a pop rivet. So that's not going to take up as much space inside. I mean, you can tell there's a difference, right? There's a clear difference. And, and this 
This is a piece of metal that is much thicker than two walls of, of duct, all right? Two little sheet metal thicknesses, that's a lot thinner than this. So <clears throat> this thing's gonna stick in, you know, a lot further than it would off of this piece. So really, the pop rivet, I think that's the way to go. We're gonna try it on, um, on this guy and see how it turns out. Yes, I know, it's a lot more work. I have to drill three holes per joint and I have to pop rivet each point, three per joint, instead of just sinking three of these screws in. I know, a lot more work, but I think it's a little more future-proof as far as cleanliness. And anybody that's lived with a forced air furnace or, or ductwork through your house, you know that these things collect dust like no tomorrow. I won't be able to clean them without having to call Stanley Steamer. There is no Stanley Steamer around here that does this. So, you know, balance ventilation is like a semi new thing in Norway. It's not like it's been around forever. So, haha. <laughs> <laughs> There's the pop rivet. I think that looks a lot better than, than a screw. Look at that. That's looking pretty good. So I'm pop riveting in addition to the rubber seal and I'm taping. That should be good, right? Come to find out, a router table has more than one function. It sure helps to uh, have, have a long place like this to uh, just do your thing. Not much is left to chance with this project. I don't want no leaks. I don't think that's really that nice. If you plan to ever clean this thing. All right, so that's where it comes up. I just put this bag over it, just so that nothing falls down. You know what I mean? It would kind of suck if something fell down in here. I'd have to start taking stuff apart. There. All right, Monday is done. But we got a lot accomplished. We got two holes drilled and we got a bunch of duct in and yeah. Tomorrow, some more ventilation. This is probably gonna be a ventilation week. Thanks for watching, Monday out. Tuesday. The weird part about Tuesday is, check this out. I know where's that light coming from, right? It's, it's still kind of daylight outside. It's only four o'clock. I'm out here kind of early. I started to work super early, so I got home a little earlier than normal. So, I, I, daylight. Yes! Looking pretty fancy. We're all working on it.
studio. And we're working on that part right now, so we're going to poke one into the bathroom. So the bathroom is down in that corner. Inside the bathroom, we'll have one of these guys in the ceiling. It's a plenum chamber. And it's basically a muffler, a sound deadener. It's got like foam sound deadening stuff on the inside. So I'm guessing that's the whole idea, to muffle some of the airflow sounds. There's going to be one of these in each bathroom and then uh, two with a little smaller outlet in the two bedrooms. The rest will just go through uh, short knee walls and uh, walls in the living room. So four chambers, seems logical enough. I'm supposed to have a bunch more, but then I changed the ceiling layouts in the bedrooms and the walk-in closet. So then we're just doing those muffler, here, hang on. Then we're using these in those rooms because I guess these have some of the same properties as one of these. Sound deadening. We're done with the basement action so right there is the exhaust air and that's the fresh air the exhaust air is coming from the bathroom and the other end of this guy you're seeing in here and it's going into the bathroom that's the guy right there so exhaust from bathrooms and the kitchen and then uh, that's fresh air right there and also one spot right there Moving on to the upstairs. Supply, return. So let's build it up to the top. How cool! We got two holes made in the top sill. Right there and right there. And then here, let me show you. This. Check it. So the floor went further out than the wall below. So in order to get the holes to line up, we had two. Yeah, they look horribly too big, but that's just, just a projection. 125 millimeter, and it's just, you know, a hair bigger. But that's okay. It's time to call it a night. It's getting really late. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.